Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday. Uh, it's already been a very productive morning. I got out of bed, so that's, product that's productivity at its finest. All jokes aside, I uh, did make some reservations for hotels for this weekend. I'm going to my friend's baby shower, and it's uh, out of state, so I figured instead of trying to drive up all night or all morning to get there on time and then leave that day, I'll go up to the night prior, rest that night nearby, and then be able to enjoy the baby shower at its fullest advantage. So that's done. Then tonight I'm possibly hanging out with friends at a country bar that we go to regularly to do line dancing. And I'll probably go anyway just because it's been a while since I've been there and now that I actually have the time to do it, because I don't have homework on the schedule, I think I'll do it. And just rolling with emotions, as they would say. No homework, so I really don't know what to do right now as I'm bored, but uh, I think I'm going to go for a drive and then uh, possibly come back and then later this evening when it cools off, take the bike out for a ride to the uh, country bar for line dancing. So that's currently the itinerary for the day. I'll keep you guys posted as you come along on the journey. I have to admit that was the most expensive internet I've ever bought. Uh, I'm doing a hotel challenge uh, with the company that I've frequented the most while uh, working and I need two more hotel stays in order to make platinum again for next year and then if I can get another 140 nights in the next year to year and a half uh, I will be platinum for life at that hotel chain so platinum here I come I, I think I can I think I can do it it's I'd get like 40 or 50 nights a year anyway still with this company I think I can get another 140 nights in the next year or two so that's what I did uh, vlog has edited and posted now it's time to get some food in my stomach because I'm stupid hungry and mosey on back toward home to uh, go hang out with friends at the country bar that I was talking about earlier today so onward I am back at the casa with food in the belly mm, rub the belly rub the Buddha <laughs> I uh, stopped at Chick-fil-A to get a grilled chicken sandwich and some fries and their sweet tea because my sugar started dropping and the best way to get your sugar up is drink liquid sugar which essentially is their sweet tea. Almost like drinking simple syrup with a hint of tea flavor. Thank you Chick-fil-A. I did receive word that I am getting my upgraded uh, portable unit on Thursday or Friday. It depends on when it ships from Texas. So, looking forward to that. i uh, already got the book bag port ready to rock and roll. I've got the spare battery already. Just waiting for the exchange of the units. And this is the last exchange I can do for the next five years. Doesn't mean I can't get a new concentrator if it breaks or stops working. It just means I can't upgrade to a newer unit for five years. So the clock resets whenever I get it. It's okay. I can go five years with a small unit. It's just going five years with the big unit, I think would, it's already tiresome. I want my hands back. That and with the port, I have to be careful. So smaller the better. So I am gonna be relaxing here at home for a few more minutes, probably about 30 to be exact. And then I'm gonna take the bike out for a ride and head on over to line dancing with friends. Just, uh, just hang out, cause it's been, a very long while probably six maybe eight months since the last time I did that so I think that is a necessity today what an awesome night to go out for a ride I like the lighting that the lights on the banister are giving me right now so I'm gonna keep the kitchen light off because I can uh, went to uh, country line dancing most of my friends did not show up this evening so it's boring when you're sitting there by yourself Therefore, I went for a ride instead. Uh, whew, God, it's such a nice night. A little humid, a little hot, but when you're actually moving on the bike, it's not terrible. But I probably need to take a break from it for a few days only to recover the amount of energy that I've expended while riding the bike. So it is what it is. But with that in mind, I thinking I'm gonna go upstairs, get on some comfy clothes, and just crash on the couch for a little bit, relax, watch some movies, who knows, just nice low-key night to end out a, a lull in the day of expensive internet. And tomorrow I have meetings, so 
I'm kind of uh, just gonna be nice and easy into the week for the rest of it, so to speak. There is nothing like drinking a shot of 18-year-old Glenfiddich whiskey. <sighs> it's heartwarming, quite literally. Uh, yes, I do partake in adult beverages every once in a while. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Anybody who is an adult partakes in adult beverages most of the time. Sometimes, anyway. There are the occasional few that are triple X, no drugs, no alcohol, no tobacco. It's been a good night of relaxation on the couch. The motorcycle ride this evening was awesome, but I think I'll be taking a day off tomorrow from that for sure, because I've been riding four days straight constant. So, downfall of owning a Harley Davidson, you just want to ride it all the time. Probably need to invest in a GoPro too, so you guys can actually see me riding the bike. Because it's really hard to vlog while riding a motorcycle, because both hands and both feet are constantly in use at all times. Uh, left hand is the clutch, left foot is the actual shifting lever, right hand is the brake and throttle, right foot is the brake as well for the rear brake. So, needless to say, the hands are quite busy on a motorcycle. Plus, when you pass everybody on a motorcycle, you wave with your right, with your left hand. So yeah, it's it's fun. It's worth it. Um, I totally enjoy it. But I think tonight will be an early bed night, to say the least. So with that in mind, I want to say thank you all for watching. As always, have a great night, and I will see you guys tomorrow.